how do we make sure we don't say students are going to learn less this coming year than they did two years ago? How do we focus on acceleration? And when you look at the research on acceleration, it has some of these points. Can you identify skills that have yet to be learned? This is a really important one. What tools do you have to assess students? Make sure you have good assessment tools. That's part of the legislation and it's there for a really good reason. We have to know what kids still need to learn. What is the unfinished learning or unrealized potential that they've had? And how do we know? And when you look at the evidence on instructional minutes, on average, 40% of instructional minutes are spent on things students already know. We do not have time to spend 40% of our minutes on things kids already know. You look back to the research, on average, 9 to 13%, 9 to 13% of instructional minutes, students are waiting for something to happen. So if you have 40% of the minutes on things they already know, and another 10 on average of time they're waiting, 50% of the instructional minutes are not related to the learning students need to do. So if we have really good assessment information, this is what you need to learn. And we design lessons that way. Second point in acceleration, how do you provide key aspects of knowledge in advance of the instruction? We have learned so much about technology. Can we provide interactive videos? Can we provide uh, learning management systems that get students to engage with background knowledge vocabulary, concept development before they're in the instructional event with their teacher. Third part, how do we increase the relevance that students have? Is it cultural competence? How do we make sure students are seeing it as relevant learning? Are we making sure that the tests and the tasks that we're doing are relevant to them, that help them develop their identity and their criticality? And next, rather than slowing things down, how do we create active, fast-paced learning experiences that cycle back through? Rather than four weeks on a skill, 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 how do we cycle through them in a faster way? And the last part of the acceleration research says, we have to work on students' confidence, not just their competence or skills. So let's invest in some social and emotional development of our young people and help them rebuild this confidence help them rebuild this sense of self. My argument around teacher agency is the same for principal agency and student agency. By and large, people do not believe right now that their efforts are resulting in things that matter. And that goes for our students as well. So how do we rebuild their confidence? How do we reset their norms? The way I say it right now, what are you willing to do to help the students in your system re-establish their relationship with learning because a lot of our students have a fractured relationship with learning so what are we willing to do to build that confidence so students have a strong relationship with learning that's acceleration rather than remediation